Hello Travelers, Boardman21 here, and today's build will be the Five Wolves Beastmaster, in which the wolves will have a super high bleed chance, they'll also have poison and some dot damage, but bleed is going to be the main thing, and then we ourselves will be rocking swipe and using taste of blood so that when we hit an enemy we double the speed of all the bleed stacks on them which includes all the wolf bleeds that have been put on it so for single targets we just absolutely annihilate them we go through bosses like their butter anything that doesn't have the dynamic scaling so fire golems anything else are killed within just a couple of seconds beetles are just evaporated as soon as we touch them and we have our resistances capped. Your survivability is a little bit better with this than I think it was in the previous patch because you don't have to worry about getting a, you know, a whole bunch of resistances. You just get your caps and then you're done. So let's go ahead and get into the skills. For skills, we're running Fury Leap, Summon Frenzy Totem, Swipe, Summon Wolf, and Entangling Roots. Fury Leap. We have 7 points in Warrior's Entrance, 1 point in Pack Leader, 3 points in Rage, 4 points in Crater, 1 point in Lagan's Wrath, 3 points in Stormbringer, and 1 point in Rejuvenating Storms. For Summon Frenzy Totem, we have 3 points in Revitalizing Totem, 3 points in Symbol of Haste, 5 points in Venomous Intent, 4 points in Rapidity, and 5 points in Beastyle Frenzy. For Swipe, we have 1 point in Way of the Hunt, 4 points in Aspect of the Panther, 1 point in Feline Hunter, 2 points in Maul, 5 points in Blood Feast, 4 points in Rending, and 3 points in Duality of Nature, so that every time we hit an enemy with Swipe, we get 9 mana gain back, which is really nice, because that 9 mana that you get back and how fast you attack is going to really allow you to cast Entangling Roots a lot more to heal your minions. For Summon Wolf, we have 1 point in Call of the Wind, 5 points in On the Hunt, 1 point in Safety in Numbers, 4 points in Crippling Wounds, 4 points in Patient Hunters, 4 points in Serrated Claws, 1 point in Canine Agility, and for Entangling Roots, we have 1 point in Lasting Briar, 1 point in Reclamation, 1 point in Grove Master, 3 points in Imbued Sap, 5 points in Venomous Pack, 3 points in Frenzy Roots, 1 point in Memories of Spring, 1 point in Bountiful Harvest, and 4 points in Nourish. For passives, we have 20 points in the base Primalist class, with 6 points in Gift of the Wilderness, 5 points in Natural Attunement, 1 point in Primal Strength, 3 points in Primal Medicine, and 5 points in Ancient Call. We have 5 points in the Druid, all 5 points are in Blood Claws, 10 points in the Shaman, with 4 points in Shamanic Infusion, 1 point in Silent Protector, and 5 points in Teutonic Fury, 76 points in the Beastmaster, with 6 points in Savagery, 1 point in Ambush, 4 points in Boarheart, 4 points in Call of the Pack, 5 points in Porcine Constitution, 5 points in Primal Strength, 5 points in Any Venom, 10 points in Viper Fangs, 1 point in Force of Nature, 10 points in Avian Shelter, 5 points in The Circle of Life, 1 point in Rending Maul, 4 points in Hunters of the Deep, 1 point in Dragon Slayer, 8 points in Ocean Maul, 1 point in Feeding Frenzy, and 5 points in Primal Aspects. And then for items, the idols that you're going to want is Minion Chance to Bleed. And if you can get that with Increased Aspect of the Shark Raisin, that's perfect. You don't have to have that. But getting more stacks of the Aspect of the Shark is always the best option. We're wearing lots of Uniques. However, some of these are only because I've never been able to wear them on the Beastmaster before and actually have the protections that we needed. And now that there's a cap and you can get it fairly easy, we've managed to be able to put these on. We have the Viper Tail, which is going to give us a lot of poison and slow on hit with some more melee attack speed. We have the Doblet of Anos Tool, which is going to give our minions another 40% chance to bleed on hit and double their duration, so for a bleed build like our wolves, this is amazing. We have Arter's Legacy, so that we have more melee attack speed and we have plus one maximum companion. And then the Taste of Blood is going to allow our minions to stack all that bleed on an enemy and then when we hit the enemy we convert all stacks of bleed on that enemy they now double in speed so you're dealing double damage and they have double the duration so super nice combo of uniques for the rest of our items we basically went for all resistances we have set physical and void we threw in some minion health and some minion dodge in some spots I'm just gonna hover over them for a second and then for our character sheet, you can see that we're maxed in all of our resistances. We're a little short, just 9% short on the elementals. You could easily just put that affix in one more suffix slot. You just have to get rid of, say, 
minion, 41% minion damage on the gloves, you could trade that out or the armor out easily for one more elemental resistance and you'll have all of them capped. We have a thousand armor, a little dodge, some block chance, and then for our minion stats, they have just over 400% health. They have a bunch of dodge so they don't get hit. They do have 100% glancing blow, which is really nice for them. They have better survivability than I do, and they have some pretty good damage. Alright, I'm going to give you guys some more gameplay.